everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and my second video. Today I wanted to make a review about my beautiful Mulberry Lily bag. This is one of Mulberry's classic designs and it really is an amazing bag for many reasons. So I bought this bag a few years ago now, back in December 2017. I purchased it directly from the Mulberry website for £783. I believe they now retail for 795 so there isn't a huge difference in price. Um, I think you can get them cheaper at Vista Village, however when I looked a few years ago they didn't have the chain woven into the strap, it was just the leather. I'm not sure if this is still the case now though. Um, I bought mine in the classic oak colour in the NVT leather, which is my favourite leather that Mulberry do, and I believe it's the regular sized lily. Um, it has the traditional Mulberry postman's lock with the Mulberry tree logo on the top. It also has the clochette with the Mulberry padlock inside, which you can use to secure the postman's lock here, however I never do this. So the chain on the back is absolutely beautiful. It's very Chanel-esque with the gorgeous chain de detailing woven throughout the leather. You can either wear the strap doubled up over your shoulder or your arm, or you can pull it through like this. And you can wear it long, crossbody. Um, mine's long enough to wear comfortably crossbody. I'm five foot seven for reference. Um, but I only do this if I need to be hands free or if I'm in a busy area and want to keep my bag secure and safe. Most of the time I tend to wear mine long like this and just over one shoulder. That's the way I prefer to wear it. So inside the bag, if I open it up, you can see that it is the other side of the leather, which has a suede-like feel. Um, there is a zip pocket at the back take that out so you can see. Um, this has obviously got the Mulberry logo and the serial number on the back um, and this um, pocket is like a fabric material and it's usually where I tend to keep the Mulberry care card inside. I love this bag, it's like a TARDIS bag. Even though it looks small, you can actually fit so much inside it. I can put a full size purse in here, keys, lip balm, hand cream, everything that you could need and it all fits inside perfectly. With regards to wear and tear, as I said before, I have used this handbag a lot. I've had it for a good few years now and I haven't babied this bag at all. I've used her in the rain, in the, in the heat, in the snow, um, and I've only sprayed her a few times with the Colonel Leather Stop Spray. Once when I first bought her and another was a couple of weeks ago, I think. So obviously because of this, there are a few marks and discoloration, but I would expect this considering I haven't really protected her that much. Um, so you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'll try and do some close up shots and show you guys some of the um, slight discoloration on the bag and just the slight um, little like scratch marks on the leather and things. But like I said, I'll do some close up shots and insert them so you can have a look. So one downside for me about this particular bag is that the chain strap can sometimes get quite uncomfortable if worn for a long time, and I mean all day. This doesn't happen if you're wearing a thick coat or something which protects your shoulder a bit more. But I remember taking this bag shopping in the middle of summer and it only wore a strappy top and by the end of the day the chain felt like it was cutting into my shoulder and it was not comfortable at all. However, if you're only wearing it for a short length of time and you're not going to fill it up with loads of stuff so it won't be heavy, um, this shouldn't be an issue. And to be honest, for me, it hasn't put me off wanting to use it because it is still a beautiful bag. Um, another slight thing, you can probably tell, the bag has lost a little bit of shape. It's become quite flat. Um, I do stuff the bag with tissue paper when I'm not using it. But over time, you know, the leather just kind of stretches out and it does kind of lose its full shape slightly. So that is something to consider. Um, I mean, this is quite typical of the Mulberry NVT leather. Um, it's one of those leathers that ages beautifully, but it is quite a slouchy kind of leather. Um, and if this is something that you would find to be a problem, if you prefer sort of more rigid bags, then um, maybe that's something to consider. But for me personally, I quite like the slouchy look. Another issue I experienced with this bag was the postman's lock came completely off. 
Um, this was just over a year ago now. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. Um, so thankfully Mulberry were amazing and they fixed the issue for me very quickly. Um, I took it into the Mulberry factory shop in Somerset and they sent it off to get repaired. However, when I received the bag back, the postman's lock was really badly scratched. In hindsight, I wish I'd raised this issue with them properly because when I sent it off, it was definitely not this scratched. And it's scratched on the front and on the back as well. And again, I will do some close-up shots that you guys can see. Um, I think I was just so happy to have my bag back. And at the time, we didn't we didn't live near the um, Mulberry factory shop. And I think I just kind of let it go. But I wish I'd said something because it is quite badly scratched now, as you guys can see from the close-ups. Um, so that was a shame. But with regards to actually repairing the postman's lock, they did that really quickly. However, despite the strap being slightly uncomfortable and, you know, um, obviously the postman's lock coming off, this bag has exceeded all of my expectations. I was looking for an evening, sort of weekend bag, and this is perfect for what I was looking for. I've used it for meals out, shopping trips, running errands when all I need to bring with me are a few essentials. I even take it with me to go food shopping sometimes when I just need some cash with me and my card. It's such a, un um, a diverse and usable bag and I absolutely love it. In my opinion, it's a fantastic investment bag and a great choice if you're looking to purchase a Mulberry bag of your own. If you're looking to pick one up at a discounted price, definitely check out Vista Village um, or Naughty Pigeon's Nest. So um, the lady on there is fantastic. She sells some pre-loved bags that, that have all been authenticated. So you know that they are genuine Mulberry bags and she has some fantastic ones on there that are in really good condition. So I'll leave the link to her website below if you want to check it out. Um, I also often see Mulberry Lilies on eBay, but be careful to get them authenticated, as unfortunately there are some fakes about. The Mulberry sale itself is often good, but I'm not sure whether their classic colours, the oak and the black, and the oxblood, um, tend to be included. It's often the seasonal colours that are discounted, but it's still worth checking back to see. So that concludes the end of the video. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this and have found it to be useful if you are considering purchasing a Mulberry Lily. If you do decide to purchase one, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to, I'd love to know and hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, please post them and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I've also recently done a Mulberry Bayswater unboxing video on my channel, so if this is something that interests you, I will link the video down below if you'd like to take a look at that as well. So thank you so much for watching guys, hopefully um, I will do some more videos, maybe um, things that can fit inside the lily um, and just show you how much of a TARDIS bag it really is. But um, that's all for now, so thank you everyone, take care and hopefully I'll see you soon, bye. Mic drop.